Γεια σε όλους, καλώς ήρθατε στο κανάλι μου. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm here to present you a technique. I don't know if it's been out there and uh, how long it's been out there or something. I tried to find videos I didn't find, but I guess um, didn't, I'm not the first one that think about it. Uh, people use napkins all the time, so we do various projects with them. So I'm here to present you a technique that I found how to make your napkins, your simple napkins, if you like the design and you want to put them in your journals, for example, and make them as page or as pocket, make your napkins like that. So it would be an extra, you know, element for your journals and stuff. So let me show you the result that you get. The result that you get is something like that. It's a transparent, I don't know if you can see that it's transparent. It's a transparent, uh, very sturdy, almost feel like plastic, like vellum. It depends on the texture of the napkin also. Uh, result. So it's like this. And uh, you can see through, I don't know if my camera picks it, but it's this thing. So this was a tissue. It was a napkin. Can you see the result? So you can stitch them after and make pockets with them, even make envelopes with them, I guess. Why not? And you can make them look like it's uh, rice or vellum paper. Rice paper or vellum paper. And they have, you know, a crunchy, so crunchy sound and they are feel they have a texture like it's plastic bag or it's a uh, you know tissue paper that kind of texture but they are transparent so you can stitch them on your pocket imagine something like that stitched on the page and be like a pocket or your imagination is the sky you can do whatever you could do with the vellum you can make them even as a you know as a envelopes or stuff so this is the result and uh, also, I'm showing you this even though it's rank, because you have to be patient. Otherwise, you will get this thing. You have to be a bit patient. So, all you will need, how I do it is, all you will need is your napkin and your glue. For glue, you can use any PVA glue, Mod Podge, you know, decoupage glue. Whatever you wish, and you use like you're making a, like you're making decoupage, you know, like you're putting your napkin somewhere. So your regular glue that you're using, and um, you can use. I will use these things. These are folder. These are for, you know, we put them in the thingies. <laughs> oh gosh, I forgot the go the word now. So anyway. We, we put uh, papers inside, so it's transparent plastic. So you can use, if you have any heat resistant mat instead, because if you use any heat resistant mat, I don't have any heat resistant mat, that's why I'm using this, so I can put it on the side without uh, having any issues. Uh, you you want a very smooth and clear surface to do this uh, this project. But if you use any heat resistant mat like a glass mat or a silicon mat, you will be able to use your heat gun and speed up the process of drying the napkin. So you will be saving a lot of time. Otherwise, you will do. And something like that, a very smooth plastic uh, surface. Maybe the wax paper you have also, maybe it's good for this uh, job, but as long as you can peel off the glue uh, afterwards. So you can use any heat resistant mats like silicone mat or glass mat because you can use your glue gun afterwards and dry it. Otherwise, you will use something like that. Very smooth, very like a plastic, even a plastic bag will do because I do it overnight and then leave it. I, go to, I do it before I go to bed and then leave it and it dries because you really, really, really need 
this project to dry very very well otherwise you will break the napkin like I uh, saw you the one with so also you have to be very careful when you pull your napkin it, especially some napkins uh, in the edges that they are uh, they are pressed they are a bit more stiff and you may damage them so get your napkin if you don't wait and you're impatient like me and you pull your napkin too early you will damage it as you can see here i have damaged my napkin i have to cut it but i can use to, to for a tag we don't throw that away so let's start with the technique it's a simple 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 like decoupaging a napkin on your surface so what i do is um Another tip is that the, the surface that is lying on the plastic will be the smooth surface and the other will be more crunchy surface. So if you want your front to be more smooth, like plastic, then you will place your napkin looking face down. If you want your front to be more crunchy feel, more rustic, you will place your napkin face up. So I will do it face down. And what I do is I take my glue and this is a crystallic wood glue that I'm using as a, and with water. It's crystallic wood glue that I'm using for almost everything. It's a PVA glue and it works perfect, perfect because it's very, very thick. So you put water in it. It works perfect like any matte medium or stuff. But you will use whatever you have. I have wood glue, I use that because it's the cheapest thing that I can find here. But you can use whatever, whatever you wish. And be careful if you see any hair or stuff. I can see one here and I can pull it and try it three times so far. Uh, so what you do is you spread your glue very, very nicely. You be careful not to have gaps and bubbles and stuff. And you put your glue, you spread it very, very nice. And you spread it in a bigger area than the area of your napkin. So you want more, uh, you want your glue to be bigger than your the size of your napkin. So when you peel the edges and if the edges break, you won't break your napkin. You will just break transparent glue. So let's see. Oh, we are okay. Then I take my napkin, carefully place it. I keep the one part of my napkin up, so I will avoid uh, bubbles. I take a dry brush, just because I don't want to ruin the napkin before I place it down. And then I uh, slowly, slowly glue the napkin. Like simple as I told you. And I glue it. So, I won't have bubbles and stuff like this, this way. I'm holding one edge. Sorry, my, my plastic is moving. So, I'm holding my edge and I'm making sure that this, I glue it section by section and making sure I don't have any bubbles and lines and wrinkles. It will give a nice effect, but I just try to avoid it. You can completely, completely avoid it, unless you're very, very good at it. I'm not. But you can do your best. So that way I glue the napkin down. And now that it's all down, and nicely here i made a wrinkle like but i can pull it now because you know napkins are delicate now that our napkin is done we will just take our glue and put a layer of glue on top also this is a soft uh, brush so it won't make any marks and stuff on my napkin and i'm not putting too much pressure on it because the napkin is already glued down but i just want to spread the glue nothing you know extreme 
So here we have some wrinkles that will make, and here I have some wrinkles. You see, I'm not good at decoupage, but you know, it will give a more, you know, crunchy effect on our napkin. I don't know how to say the word. If you take your time and do it carefully, you won't have all these wrinkles like I did. So, now you have glue on both sides of your napkin, on the lower part and on the upper part, and all you have to do is leave this to dry. You just leave it to dry. If you do it on a plastic like this, because you can use your heat gun, it will take you, leave it over a night. It's better to leave it more than eight hours to dry, so you will make sure that it's stiff enough and it will hold. But if you use a glass mat or a craft mat that is heat resistant, like the silicone mats or the cooking mats, even maybe in wax paper, we don't have wax paper here, we have cooking paper and they, it will stick down. So if you use something like that, you will be able to heat gun it and then remove it. So I will take this outside. This is the one side and let me show you the other side. So I will take this outside and bring one that I did last night. So in the one that I did last night, this is it. This is after it dries. So all you have to do, and you see because it's already so many hours, it peels by itself. So all you have to do is just peel it. Can you see how easy it was? And then you will take your scissors and cut the, you know, any remainings of glue all around. So can you see how easy it was? And it's transparent and it's really, really, really beautiful. Can you see it? So I did this one with the good side on the plastic and this makes the design more bright compared to this one but I did this with the good size on top so if you can see this is more brighter so that was my tutorial I hope you enjoy it I hope you give it a try uh, it's a very easy and quick way to make vellum in your, with your napkins and use them as for various projects. And I apologize for the dogs, sorry for that. <laughs>